Hi folks, my name is John Mayer. I'm the Executive Director of Cali, the Center for Computer Assisted Legal Instruction. And this is a simple demonstration of how to create a single step guided interview in A to J Author for a potluck dinner. All right, let me share my screen and show you how, how to do this. So here I am at the uh, A to J Author website. I'm gonna log in. So I choose Author. Scroll down and click user login. My credentials have been in and out of there so often that it's gonna be pretty quick here. But you would type in your username and your password. I click run A to J author. And here I am at the beginning. So let me blow that up just a little bit. I'm gonna to choose to click a blank interview. And what I've got for default is a, is a two step interview. So right away I know I want a single step interview I'm going to change the number of steps to scroll up to one. All right. I'm going back to the number of pages. I've got an extra page here, but I'm not going to use these pages anyhow. So I'm just going to highlight that and delete. And there's just like a little, are you sure? I'm going to get rid of that page and hit delete. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to get rid of that page and delete and sure. So now I've got a blank interview essentially with one step, step zero. Um, and one question in it. Now, when you create an interview, it's generally a good idea. You don't have to do this, but it's not a bad idea to create the variables that you're gonna need first. And I'll explain why that's a useful thing. So I'm gonna go to uh, the, 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 the email I got that was asking me to explain this. Here we are. And we're creating a potluck dinner and we wanna ask a couple of questions. You know, um, what is your name? How many people, what will you bring and anything else? All right. So I need five variables, first and last name. How many people, what will you bring and anything else? That sounds right. All right, let's get rid of that. Go back to A to J author. D -d -d. And I'm gonna go to variables and I'm gonna create five variables, all right. First one I'm gonna create is a uh, first name. And this is a text field, so that's fine. And I'll just hit save. And I'm gonna create last name. It's already a text field. I'm gonna create, what will you bring? What will you bring? And I'm putting underscores in there. Uh, just because I'm a programmer and that's the way I do things. And this is also a text field. You know, we're, I'm, I'm not gonna do anything complicated by creating a list. I'm just gonna have them type it into a text field. Um, and then number of people. And this is a numeric, so it's a number and nothing else special about this. I'll hit save. And then finally, uh, anything else. And I'll just make that a text field as well. The text is already there. All right, so I've created my variables. Now I wanna create my pages and uh, we'll start with uh, an introduction page, which is already there. So I'll double click on that. We'll keep the name of this page as introduction. We'll replace the text here. Instead of this is the introduction, we'll say uh, here, something like, uh, we are having a potluck. Please answer the following questions. All right. And I'm just gonna close that. Now I need a bunch, now, now what I need is, uh, what, a question for each of these, right? So I'm gonna, I can, I, I can either hit new page, and we'll do that, and it will just create a blank new page there. Um, and I need a page for what's your name. So that's the, that's the one I got. How many people? That's number two. Uh, what are you bringing? That's number three. And anything else? Number four. All right. So now I'm going to go in and change the names of all of these and uh, basically build them out. But uh, let's do this. Let's double click on that. Instead of a new page, we'll call this two, uh, what? Um, We'll just call this two dash name. All right. It's got here. It's got some text that says, what is your name? 
and there's two fields that I want. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to the fields. I'm going to choose two fields. Uh, the first one is a text field. The label is going to be, oh, I guess first name. And then I'm going to scroll down to the, oh, and then I want to choose the variable for this. So I think I had a variable uh, first name. I start to type it, it pops up. I can just click it from the list. That's why I created my variables first, by the way, so that as I started to type my variables, I could just pick them. And so I can make sure that they're matched up. Now I could have created, I could have just typed a variable name in here and then later gone back and created the variable um, because it doesn't automatically create the variable on the fly here. That's something that we're thinking about adding, by the way. Uh, all right. So the second field is text. The label would be what? Last name. Here, let's type it correctly though. And the variable we probably created was what? Last name. Yeah, there it is. All right. Are we going to make these required? Yes. Uh, we got to have their, their name. So we'll click required. Uh, we need a button. The button is to continue just to go to where, where it, it's the button that basically is the navigation in this case. We want to navigate to, well, we're going to navigate the new page too, but it's going to eventually change the name of that, but we'll, we'll leave that as that is right now. So let's go to new page two. Let's change the name of that. What was it? It was name, number of people you're bringing, right? Three number of people. All right. The name of the the name of the page isn't uh, not not super important because you're going to put some text in here that basically says how many people. Whoops. Are you bringing? All right. We want a variable. We want a field here. One field. We want it to be a number field. And the label is just going to be, you know, number. And the variable here, I'll start typing. Yeah, there it is. N U M. Oops, has to be capitalized, looks like. There we go. Number of people, default value, I'm going to say one. We're going to make this required. Um, and a minimum and maximum. Yeah, minimum of one, no more than, oh, I don't know, five. We can make that any number we want. We can put a message in if they type a number outside of that, but I'm going to keep this super simple. And then this is a continue button, which remember is our navigation in which we want the destination to be the next one, right? Change and close. Cool. Uh, let's go to this, the next page. This is the page for what are you bringing, right? So for what, whoops, I always have my caps locks on. What are you bringing? Brighting. <laughs> and this is going to be just a single, here, yeah. what are you bringing? And this is just going to be a single field. I'm going to scroll down to the number of fields. I'm going to add a field. It's a text field. There's actually a choice for a long text field. And in this case, I want them to type in all the details. So we'll do that. And we'll just repeat what we did here. What are you bringing? It's the difference between the, the title of the page and the prompt that you're showing on the screen to the user. What will you bring? Oh, okay. So I used a slightly different variable name. What will you bring? Default value. I'll leave that blank. I do want them to fill this in. So I'm making it required. Max characters. I'm going to say, you know, let's, let's not write a novel here. 500 characters. And again, a continue button, which is our navigator. That just goes to the next page, which is the last one. New page. Change and close. So we're on our last page. This is uh, anything else, right? That's right. 
Oh, I always have my caps locks on, don't I? And, you know, we'll type in the question info, is there anything else we should know? Again, we're going to make this a uh, text. We can skip all of these things because it doesn't apply. We'll scroll down to one field. Again, a long text field, the label being anything else. And the variable here is anything else, which is a text variable. All right, there's uh, the label for the, uh, the label for the button to navigate. Instead of continue, I'm gonna say finish up. It's sort of a signal to say, you know, we're done. For the set destination, we're not going to any, any particular page. What we're gonna do is go to uh, success here. In this case, I want to eventually give them back like a PDF that says, here's what you just said. So we'll say assemble, generate PDF document. I'm not going to build that for this, this particular demo here, but I'll, I'll build that into this right now. We'll hit change, we'll hit close. Let's go hit preview and see if anything didn't work. So I can see we are having a potluck. Please answer the following question, continue, and it didn't work. So let's hit the back button or let's go to uh, edit this. I'll go to introduction. I want to, what I want to do is make sure that it jumped to the right place. So then my continue button. Oh yeah, my, I didn't set the, uh, I didn't set the navigator for that continue button. So one should go to two, which is name. Close just for yucks. Let's go look at name and make sure that that jumped to the right place. There's my continue button. Set the destination goes to number of people. Good. Let's look at number of people. Let's scroll down and look at the continue button. It goes to what are you bringing? Good. Actually, there's a faster way to do this. So let me quickly show you that. I'm going to hit the map button. It builds a map. I can zoom out and see if all of my things are linked. And what I've got is introduction, going to name, going to number of people, going to what are you bringing? I have to get my zoom bar out of the way while I do this and going to anything else. Good. That map feature is relatively new, like only in the last month or so. But we know that that works now. We'll hit preview. Here it is. I'm going to not type anything in and hit continue. Yep, it was required, so it's bothering me. My name is John. My name is Mayor. I'm going to hit continue. Number of people. I'm going to put 12. Hit continue. Yep. It, remember, I put that limit of one to five in there. So I'm going to say four. Continue. What are you bringing? Uh, bacon, eggs, toast, and jam. I could test this by trying to like copy and paste 500, more than 500 characters in. But, you know, it says my character limits. I got 474 characters left. I'm good. And anything else? And I'll just say nothing else and then finish up. So at this point, document assembly would occur if I were to build that into it. Um, but that's the essential demo that I wanted to show you. Great, thanks a lot. So I will stop recording. Bye-bye.